Christ's sake, believe. <laughs> Excellent, I think that might be the one. Hang on, wait a minute. To all sinners, God damn you! Magnificent, now you're talking. That certainly packs a punch. That'll be the one we use. Hang on, hang on. Thieves, whores, sodomizers, repent now or else, and we're not joking. <laughs> Jesus gave his blood, so bloody well give it to Jesus! <laughs> yes, you! Get in this church now! Get on your knees and pray, or you're dead! <laughs> hey, ugly! You don't believe in God, and that's why you're ugly, you ugly get! <laughs> Let's not be assholes! Let's save our souls! Hey! Stop sitting about, nubbed, or you'll go to hell! <laughs> My name's Lee. Who am I talking to today? Uh, I'm Karen. Hi, Karen. I'm the local sales rep from Individual Cards. Would you mind very much if I show you a sample from our latest range? I'd rather not, actually. Great. <laughs> now, picture the scene. It's Christmas Eve and Dave's mum's not well. Oh, he comes in here. Uh-oh, confusion. What's he going to do? Get her a Christmas card or a Get Well Soon card? Well, now there's a card for both. Sorry to hear you're not feeling well at Christmas. See? Make the cards more specific. Mm. Happy Easter, and we're sorry to hear that you fell out of a tree. <laughs> thanks, but I'm not really that interested in Can it. I read you a saucy card? No, thanks. Super. <laughs> sorry to hear about your operation, but look on the bright side. It won't be the first time you've lay on your back whilst a fella fiddles around inside you. I don't really think that's appropriate. Of course it's not appropriate. And why is it not appropriate, Karen? Because it's not specific enough. Sorry to learn you're having your hip operation, Nan, especially on your Ruby wedding anniversary. But look on the bright side. It won't be the first time you've lay on your back whilst a fella. No, thank you. OK, they're very nice. They may be removing a kidney due to severe inflammatory disorder on this very special Pancake Tuesday. But <laughs> congratulations on passing your driving test. Look, I'm really very busy. Just heard you've been injured by a flying sheep. Look, they're very nice. I'm sorry to be rude, but I'm not interested. I'm very happy with the supplier I've got now. Every <laughs> Dear Karen. <laughs> the problem's underneath the car. Now, in the past, I would have had to lie on the ground, squeeze myself underneath it. Not anymore. This hydraulic car ramp lifts your car in here so I can have a proper look. Great. Ah, there's your problem. You need a new exhaust. I'll be out in a minute. Get a move on. All right, almost finished. Well, that'll do, won't it? What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. What? Does it look rubbish? Quite the opposite. <laughs> Sorry? Quite the opposite. You look amazing, mate. Are you OK? You look fantastic. <laughs> well, it's all right, I suppose. All right, it's more than all right. You look... I look what? You look like a prince. <laughs> well, that's not, we're going to be wearing the same thing. Am I? Yeah. We can look like a pair of princes. Yeah. We're going to be turning heads. Well, it's going to be like a fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Get off me. I do love the lake this time of year. Karen. You're not going to like what I've got to say to you. All those weekends away were nothing to do with work. I'm having an affair with Wendy. Thanks. <laughs> so how do you feel about that? <laughs> Cheers. Come on, don't just bottle your feelings up. Can't you hear what I'm saying? I'm leaving you. I'm leaving the kids. <laughs> You're right. That was a big one. <laughs> now, if you could just shut your right eye for me and open it 
and again. Now to me. Stop it! when the other bloke knew all along. Shh. Shh. Where are we now? Is this a flashback bit? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Shh. Ronnie! Shh. Please, can we watch the news in peace? <laughs> what do you want? Blood? Any blind dates? No. <laughs> I'm glad you responded to my advert, though. Well, it certainly stood out from the others. 34-year-old <laughs> lazy bugger requires a woman for friendship and possibly more. Like ironing and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Must be reasonably attractive, nothing special. I just don't want people sniggering when we're out in the street. <laughs> That's your cake. We haven't had our main courses yet. As a starter. No, no, thanks. I'm fine, really. Go on. No, really, I'm fine. I'm My okay. treat? No, really. Of course you're not fat. <laughs> Can I take your order? Madam. Uh, hi. hi. <clears throat> yes, uh, for the starter, I'll have the carrot and tarragon soup, please. OK. <laughs> Sir. Cake. <laughs> As a starter, just write it down. <laughs> Main course? The seared lamb with warm bolotti bean tabouleh. Tell me, does that contain bulgur wheat? Yes, it does, actually, yes. Well, I'll have that, then. OK. A fine choice. Mm. Tell you what, why don't I have that with the brinage sauce? Yum, yum. <laughs> Sir? Yes, tell me. The tagliatelle with baby clam chafilia and mange tout. Does that contain any chocolate? <laughs> chocolate, no. Then I'll take the cake. And I'll tell you what, I'll have that. The custard sauce. <laughs> yum, yum. Dessert. Cake, madam. Do you have any tart of citron with creme fraiche? Yes. I'll have that. <laughs> Sir? Have you got any mocha roulade with raspberry coulis? No. Good. I'll have a cake. <laughs> if you're having cake as starter and main course, I think the cake will then be finished. We do have sorbet. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a kind of frozen fruit. A sort of free glacé. <laughs> Serve sur l'assiette pour moi. Uh, après être le restaurant excellent. Piss off. <laughs> Why don't you have it? You'll like it. Really, it's nice. All right, it's all Oi! With custard. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy coming back to my mum's later? Have a cake. Do you live with your mum? Oh, yeah. In fact, it was her idea to put that advert out. Do you know what she says? She goes, Lee, you need a woman in your life. I can knit your jumpers. I can darn your socks. And I can make your soup on a cold winter's day. But you can't stick your finger up my bum. 